And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rain for you. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the Chicago White Sox. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shum. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Our starter in this one, Eric Fetty. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to go here. Here's the center. Well, the starter is Eric Fetty. And this series has gone pretty much prototypical me. We uh, did pretty well against who's going to be the uh, White Sox ace this year in Garrett Crochet and then struggled with the number two starter in Mike Soroka. We'll see what we can do here today against Fetty. Veerling day off yesterday leads off today. Slurve in for strike one. No four seam for the second straight day. Fetty only featuring the sinker and cutter. Couple of nasty slurves that we didn't want any part of. But go to hole for Veerling. Three straight slurves to start the day. Damn. Well, here's Torque. Smacked it, but it's been the story of the series, or at least since game one, or uh, game two, rather. We have grounded out a ton. Never have I felt the, you know, with the directional hitting and aiming down, usually that allows you to hit some line drives and hit the ball hard somewhere. In this series, not so much. And four pitches for Fetty. And they are already two away. First ball to miss the zone. Sinker down low. Misses again. Now the commentary talked about the speed differential between the sinker and the changeup. It's not really that bad. 92 to 96 on the sinker, 86 to 90 on the circle change. And it catches the inside corner. Got to make Fetty throw some pitches here to Riley Green. So far, he is throwing strikes. The count two and one. And, a foul and that sinker just fell off two and two, but it's a strike anyway. Well behind it. Let's see if he tries it again. Two outs. And smacked, but to Paul DeYoung. He's struggling to get balls out of the infield in this series. One, two, three inning for Eric Fetty. And now time for the Tigers debut of Jack Flaherty. That's good to know. I don't know if I really would be in the market for a custom jersey. Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> Jack Flaherty looking for a bit of a career bounce back with the Detroit Tigers, and it's Andrew Benintendi to lead off for the White Sox, and the cutter's in there. Now, no changeup for Flaherty. And not great command on the sinker. Benintendi takes the first two. Knuckle curve in the dirt. 
And first batter he faces and a strikeout for Flaherty. That knuckle curve didn't look like it was breaking as much as maybe we would have hoped, but it got the job done. At least the feedback on the uh, after you select it. Fastball going to miss away. Going to get our timing right. Oh, jeez. Story of the series for the White Sox. Dude, I even... What the fuck? What is wrong with Riley Green? I saw he was going to have a bad throw. The meter showed up red. I canceled the throw and then did it again, and he was still going to miss. And he did. One out single for Chicago. Here's Luis Robert. Fastball in there at 94. Not certain we're going to want too many elevated fastballs here today, especially against the big guys of Chicago. Sinker will miss low. Good eye by Robert. Cutter is pretty much going to be our changeup today with a little bit more versatility than usual with the change up obviously you want to throw that down and the knuckle curve away i mean boy oh boy hung it a little bit slider also foul i'd say watch out um but do we really care <laughs> if the umpires get beaned good timing on the slider i don't know if we're gonna blow him away but let's try oh he didn't offer Two and two, White Sox fairly patient so far today. Let's try and throw that knuckle curve a little better. We do, and he got a piece again. Chicago's done a good job fouling balls off the entirety of the series to this point. Slider, oh my God. I mean, he's seen everything. Cutter got him. We missed our spot a little bit, but strikeout number two already for Jack Flaherty. The only problem is he really had to work on it. So two away for Aloy Jimenez. Right-hander that's fairly good against right-handed pitching. Fastball low. Make it two and He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may be patient and take your walk here. We sneak that in there. Didn't offer, and it's three and one. And here it comes. Top of the zone. Needed that, and we'll see if we want to be a little bit bold here with a slider. Fouled it off. Already a 20-pitch inning for Jack Flaherty. Sinker in the air. One way or another, Flaherty gets the job done, allows a single, but 21 pitches in that first inning. Robert did a lot of damage to us. And we're back. The left fielder. So Kerry Carpenter leads off the inning. Good power against righties. We'll wait for a mistake, hopefully. One for three with a walk in his season debut. Game two of this series. Hammered by Kerry Carpenter. Right center field. Is it going to go? Yes. Home run number one on the year for Kerry Carpenter. And for our 
hopes and dreams of this season. We're going to need a few of those. Solo shot off Eric Fetty to lead off the second. Knew we got a good, good bit of that ball. Gary Carpenter drives it out. Even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one, nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Mark Canna. Right through there. I don't know what you're getting into, but I don't like it. <clears throat> we did do a thing. Didn't take until, what, the eighth inning yesterday, I think, is when we finally scored. Slurve down low, one and one. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Just oh. missed. You got two balls, one strike. Three and one on Mark Canna. Cole Keith, another lefty on deck. Had a good opening day. Didn't do much yesterday, but... Neither did a lot of us. Yeah, the righty deals. Smacked. <laughs> right to Paul DeYoung. We've done that a lot here in this opening series in Chicago. Colt Keith got his first major league hit on opening day. Oh, jeez. Now nah, we don't want to be that aggressive. He's gonna he's gonna bully us with that slurve if we do too much of that. Hammered by Colt Keith. That's gonna get caught on a line though. That slurve was actually up and in. I really thought it was gonna come down a little bit more, but it slid more than it curved. So two away for Jake Rogers. Jesus Christ. In plenty of time to first, third out. Ground ball city, but Kerry Carpenter goes deep his first of the year. One nothing Tigers. And hey, we've got a hit. Don't have to stress about getting no hit. I think we went through the entire order before we finally got a hit yesterday. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Fourth year, Andrew Vaughn against Jack Flaherty. But maybe you want to be a little bit more careful today as we get deeper into this game than we were yesterday with Kenta Maeda. The umpires Patrick Johnson and Vaughn swings and misses third strikeout already for Flaherty. That slider is a weapon. The knuckle curve as well. It's the it's the setup pitches that have me a little worried. I, I, the fastball and the cutter and the sinker. I don't know. They're not great weapons. <clears throat> and that one hammered. Into the gap, it'll be cut off by Kerry Carpenter. One out single again for the White Sox. Cutter looks like he got in on his hands a little bit and just get another oppo shot for Chicago. They've been late on everything all series. I can't imagine every hitter they got is just going up there thinking, hey, I'm going to hit this the opposite way. So here's DeYoung in the air. This one playable for Carpenter. Under it. Carpenter snags it. Two away. So Nicky Lopez with two gone. Four for seven in the Runner on first base. Nicky Lopez has had a good series though. One for six in his career against Flaherty. Sinker fouled away. Quick two strikes. 
Three games set with the New York Mets from City Field starting tomorrow. Her ball on the ground. Ibanez on to first, and that'll end the inning. White Sox, another hit, but the Tigers still lead 1-0. Uh, 8-9 one do up. Baez, Ibanez, and Veerling. Javi Baez hits in each of the first two games. The right -hander back to work. Javi Baez, yep. <clears throat> he throws that per first pitch slurve again. Got us out in front. Just looked like a little hanger. And then I don't really know. It's just not paying attention because obviously it's the slurve. And obviously it's down there 80 or below most times. Fouled away, two strikes on Javi. 286 average through two games. Oh. Goes fishing, but the sinker misses. Went with the slurve. We timed it up a little better, but still. Well foul. The one two. That's down and in. Sinker low and inside. Good battle out of Javi. Fishing again, and Javi Baez looking to draw a walk. Stop the presses. The line of the pitch. Up the middle, ground ball, nice snag. By Lopez and a good turn. Bias is out. Got tied up a little bit. <clears throat> On a sinker low and in. Swing wasn't so bad, but just not much you're going to do with that pitch. So now number nine hitter, Andy Abanez. Take a first pitch slurve. Gonna have to lay off of that to see more sinkers and cutters. First pitch. Two and zero on Abanez. One for five on opening day. He was leading off then. Finding a strike, low and away. Everything low and away so far to Andy Abanez. Three and one. And now three and one. Fearling on deck. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Sinker's a tough pitch to commit to on three one. Good to see the break of it if he throws it again. Let's see. Went with the slurve. Well, a sinker after, or a sinker before the slurve. Pretty much the same spot it looks like it's coming in on. Not the case. Little shot that isn't going to leave the infield again. To the bottom of the third. Still leading 1-0 on the strength of the Kerry Carpenter home run. Nine one two do up for the White Sox. Martin Maldonado that does not have a hit through two games. Fastball well behind it. Cutter in the zone. Riley Green with a chance. We're just gonna want to cut that off. It's a leadoff single. For Martin Maldonado, yet another one inside, fought off to the opposite field. They have done that to us all series. <clears throat> Andrew Benintendi. One and one as the cutter finds his own. 
The White Sox down by a run here in the last half of the third. Cutter. Oh, he offered it that. Or sinker, rather. Might need to try the knuckle. Curve. Got him. On the ground. Potential two ball. On to first. Got him. Double play. That'll help. Ground ball to Abanez. The throw on to Colt Keith. And a strike to Torkelson. The Tigers are 3-0. Oh, how? Because they, yeah, they played Chicago. Sinker. Well out in front was Moncada. On the ground, Javier Baez to end the inning. Well, Jack Flaherty is uh, doing the job through three. See if we can't extend the inning. Two, three, four, do up for Detroit. Torkelson, Green, and Carpenter. Here on the south side, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Spencer Torkelson. Try and be a little bit patient here with Tork. Fetty has liked the first pitch slurve, and he did it again but caught the zone. Blowing in that time. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. It's so brutal, dude. <clears throat> Especially after you see the first one and it doesn't really slide that much. And then you're even more out in front when it actually does what it's supposed to. Not a flinch, but that is four straight slurves to Torque. Full count. Finally gave us something else, the changeup. And Torque is going to draw a leadoff walk. For the pair of lefties, Green and Carpenter now. Need to get Riley Green going. I believe he's only got one hit so far this season. Smack down the line. Base hit. Possibly extra bases. Torque is going to head to third. And Riley Green will pull into second with a stand-up double. First extra base hit on the year for Riley Green. And that is huge with now Kerry Carpenter, who homered earlier, coming up. And we give the White Sox a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. Getting late on something and just hitting it opposite field. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Golden opportunity right here. See how aggressive they want to pitch Carpenter. Up and in. Feels like that's setting up a slurve. And it did foul. Just foul. That was close. Quick 0-2 on Carpenter. At the belt and, fires. and smacked, but right to Paul DeYoung. Run is going to score. RBI ground out for Carpenter. Torque going on contact. One away from Mark Canna. Green still on second base. Right back up the middle. And Riley Green should score on this. Mark Canna is going to get the job done and make it 3-0 Detroit. Well, an inning we needed to get a little bit of separation going. A sinker below the zone. Yet another ground ball, but we finally find a hole. Now let's see what Colt Keith can do. Slurve that's nowhere close. 1-0. and all. In the air. High fly ball to center field. Luis Roberts there. We'll send Canna back. Two away. 
Two away now for Jake Rogers. Here's the catcher to hit, Jake Rogers. Got the day off in game two. He started Carson Kelly. Rogers got the first home run of the Tigers season on opening day. And another flinch on that slurve. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fell off the table. One and one. Cutter, damn. <clears throat> Just throwing him low. Two strikes on Rodgers. Sinker inside, fouled it off. 50 pitches now for Eric Fetty. So after a rough first inning in terms of his pitch count, we've done a better job. Slurve going to miss, two and two. Hammered by Rogers. Foul ball. Out in front of the slurve over the plate. Righty delivers. Foul off Sat the plate. back on it. In fact, too long. Oh! About time before he threw a nasty one. Tigers score two, though. It is 3 0. Bottom of the fourth Robert, Jimenez, and Vaughn. The Tigers three and the White Sox nothing. Bottom of the fourth, now it's the power speed count. Already equaled our hit total from yesterday. Cutter, strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Tigers scoring in back to back innings, so that's good news. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> I would say it's good news for us. That is not true. The Carpenter home run came in the second, and that's a line drive to Kerry Carpenter. One away. Boy, Jimenez hit a ball decently hard his first time up. Done a good job limiting Chicago's big guns in Robert and Jimenez. He did have the two RBI single the other day, and that's some good aim, right, to Kerry Carpenter. Been a busy man today. Two away. Now we are seeing some more hard contact off of Flaherty, something to keep an eye on. in the playoffs you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series sinker fouled away again another tough opening series for Andrew Vaughn cutter in the air this to this one to right field Riley Green there through four it's three nothing Detroit gonna feel pretty good to, to come out of Chicago with a series win if we can hang on to this one didn't uh, didn't have a great game yesterday, so to bounce back and be able to score today is good news. Back here on the south side, now Javier Baez. If they did a pull, Javier Baez ground out in his first trip. Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo, so it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. Very Starting to lose that slurve a little bit. Either that or he's, I don't know what he's trying with it. One and one. Ah, weak contact. It's got a chance. No. Luis Robert underneath that one. One down. Ibanez and Veerling to follow. Haven't struck out a ton today. Ibanez has one of them. Against Eric Fetty. And that one right back up the middle. Slow roller, though. And not in time on the throw. 
Single for Andy Ibanez. That ball just died. It must have had some spin on it. It just, it just skid across the grass and took a lot of speed off it. De Jong with a good throw. Good stretch from Vaughn, but Ibanez is on with one away. Four hits! We got four hits! More than we had all yesterday. Deerling, chop foul. And it jumped at that. Devonez leads off first with one away. Ooh. Nice slurve there from Fetty as there is bullpen action for Chicago. Banks and Steven Wilson. We've seen Banks. I can't remember if we've seen Steven Wilson or, or not yet. 60 pitches in to this start for Eric Fetty. Not even close there. And a count one and two. On the ground, it's a two ball. Veerling. Not in time. Beat it out. So decent speed from Veerling. Wasn't hit hard enough for the White Sox to get two, and that does extend the inning for Torkelson. Walking a run scored on his day. Sinker misses inside. Three doubles on opening day. He, like so many of our Tigers, did not have a great game, too. Two outs. Two balls, no strikes to count. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy. I mean, hey, the Michigan Panthers uh, fucking kicker yesterday with that 64-yarder. I think he's guaranteed himself an NFL job already. Kicks and fires. But it curls foul. Man, we really needed that to be the sinker. Torque gave it a ride. Two and one. Goes fishing and it's three and one. Riley Green lurking. Fetty nearing the end of his energy here today. That'll be a walk to Torkelson. Two walks today for Torque. And that's going to do it for Eric Fetty. Well, we'll see who the White Sox go to out of the pen. Tukey Toussaint wasn't even warming up. But the good news for us is he is still a right-hander, so Carpenter is still going to be a viable option, although Tukey Toussaint is the pitcher that came on for the White Sox on opening day after Crochet got knocked around and really settled the game down for Chicago. Smacked Paul DeYoung on to second. That'll end the inning. Toussaint, one pitch, but we hit the ball to the wrong guy on the White Sox. Paul DeYoung's been making every play all series long. Dominic Fletcher, Paul DeYoung, and Nicky Lopez do up for Chicago. Fletcher has one of the three White Sox hits. Ha. There haven't been many questionable calls uh, here today. Uh, pretty much every one of them have gone against us, though. Fletcher chased the cutter. Sinker, Colt Keith there. That sinker down low. Fletcher got a little bad on it. Actually got a little bit more plate than we needed to get. And that's going to be, a, I think, a problem for Flaherty all year. Where it's just it's just a little, little wild. DeYoung late on the cutter. 
Quick two strikes from Flaherty. Slider. De Jong gets a piece. And after the first inning where Flaherty threw 21 pitches, you wouldn't think he'd be going this far. Curveball got him. Strikeouts have kind of cooled down for Flaherty after the first two innings, but that will be his fourth. Two away for Nicky Lopez. Fastball in. And by the way, that uh, Michigan Panthers kicker with the 64-yarder, that thing was probably good from 70. It'll be interesting to see how accurate he is throughout the course of the year because if he's accurate, yeah, he's got an NFL job. Cutter in the air, blooper. Fair ball, they say. Automatic double for Nicky Lopez, and I think this must have gone right off the line. It did. Nicky Lopez continues to have a pretty nice series. He pulled that cutter. Maldonado fouled away. I'm just scared to pitch them inside. They're doing so much weak damage against us all series long on pitches inside. It's just insane. You'd think we'd be sawing him off. It's just not happened. Man, it's second. Curve on the ground. Slow roller, but not great speed for Maldonado. The throw by Baez is in time to end the inning. So the automatic double for Nicky Lopez, but Flaherty gets out of it with the ground out. 3-0 Detroit. Lions need, I think, to draft a kicker. Uh, I don't know how old that guy is, but... I would uh, be more inclined to draft a guy like Will Reichert or Harrison Mevis. So Carpenter leads off the inning, one for two, with an RBI ground out. Toussaint with a little bit more heat and a lot more action on his delivery. But the curveball, we saw it on opening day, that curveball's filthy. Mm. One wrapped foul. Example number one of certainly many for Tuki Tucson here today. Top six, three nothing Detroit. Right handed reliever. In the air. In the air Weak field. little flare. Robert underneath it. One, down. one for three for Kerry Carpenter, but his first home run of the year today. They got us on the board. And now it's going to be Mark Canna, one for two. One down for Mark Canna. And there's a foul ball. Had a rip, fouled it off. And even when we time it up decent like we did uh, just there, that curveball, it just moves so much. It's, it's very, very tough to square up. Ooh. We got the call on a really good curveball from Tuki Toussaint. He went back to it, and I thought maybe seeing it back-to-back -back times it could do decent, but we were a little bit behind it. So Colt Keith 0 for 2. Number 7 prospect in baseball. Oh, that's a nasty sinker. It started to tail away from us since the ground out for Cole Keith. Tuki Toussaint doing it to us again so far. One, two, three for the White Sox. Benintendi, Moncada, and Robert. Big test now for Jack Flaherty. Fifty-nine pitches. For Flaherty, through five. Back to work. He's had some really nice innings after the long first inning. 
And a pitch. Swing, Swing and a miss. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. Curve. Got a piece. Did Ben Intendi, and it feels weird to call Ben Intendi a journeyman, but at this point he is. Slider in the zone. Just took it. Rough series continues for Andrew Benintendi. Fifth strikeout for Jack Flaherty. Here is Joan Moncada. One of the four White Sox hits in the air for Kerry Carpenter. Two away. I mean, at this point, there's no reason not to trot Flaherty back out for the seventh. Or just keep him in the game until he gives us a reason not to. Sinker. Robert chases. I mean, just eight pitches in the second, third, and fourth. Slider. Got away from him a little bit. Cheese cutter. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a deep one. It looks like it's going to stay in the park, though, and it does. At the base of the wall, Robert gave it a ride on a cutter that got away from us a little bit. To the late innings we go, Rogers, Baez, and Abanez. Oh, and Toussaint out of the game already. Steven Wilson in here. Just trying to hold this Shy Sox deficit where it is at 3 0. So Jake Rogers, 0 for 2, put up a good battle his last time up before a nice Eric Fetty slurve got us. And Steven Wilson with a sweeping curve. Maybe we have seen that. Ooh. Next offering is foul. Well, it's the first time all day we've seen a four-seam fastball. Rogers with a good rip at it, but it is 0-2 on the Tigers catcher. Ooh. Went upstairs. The glare on the batter's eye is starting to make it a little bit more difficult, especially with the shadows uh, in front of the plate to pick up the ball. And another ball. Two and two on Rogers. Oh, somehow held up on that. Full count on Jake Rogers again. Blown away. How about that out of Jake Rogers? Lead off walk here in the seventh. And Wilson walks the first guy out of the bullpen. Javi Baez 0 for 2. Down low. Two and on bias. First round pick back in 2011. Sign with the Tigers in 2021. Oh, he went cutter in the 2 1. Looked like we got one, the pitch we wanted. No. In the air from Javi Baez. Looks like a deep fly ball out. <clears throat> Retreating is Rodgers. Andy Ibanez with a single today. Ooh, wow. That curve gets on you fast. 82. In the dirt. Good block by Maldonado. Two sweepers to start the at-bat. Change up. <clears throat> 
Got a sitting heater out in front. One and two. Ooh. Now, best, best one of those that Wilson's thrown. He just froze us. And now Veerling with two away. He's just not throwing the four-seamer, and especially when he drops in that cutter, it's uh, it doesn't really cut that much, so it's it's tough to pick up on the speed differential. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> Coming right after Veerling. Did we go? No. Sweeper is low. Take it again. Two and two. <laughs> Somehow getting a piece of that. He's throwing the same pitch pretty much three straight times. Knew we had no shot. We head to the seventh. We are going to get some help up for Jack Flaherty. On the off chance he needs it. With the 3-0 lead, we're going to want to go with our back-end guys. Unfortunately, Miller and Chafin I'd like to stay away from today. So we're going to go Tyler Holton. But we're going to hope Flaherty can get us through seven here. That way, Foley and Lang, in whatever order we want, go in the eighth and ninth. But he does have to get through Eloy Jimenez one more time. Ah. I don't know. He got beat on that from Robert. Oh, get the call at the top of the zone. Flaherty got him swinging, and Rogers has it behind the plate. Strikeout number six. One away for Andrew Vaughn. That ball misses high, and for a rare moment, Vaughn showing some discipline. Right through there for a strike. The White Sox trailing by three here, the bottom of the seventh. On the ground foul, and we got two strikes on the White Sox first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Flaherty slider got a piece. Expanded the zone, did Vaughn. Fastball. Oh. Well behind it. Maybe if we can throw this cutter where we want it. In the air. Riley Green on the run. Drops in foul. 77 pitches for Flaherty. Sinker got a piece again. Slider well out in front. Vaughn looks silly on that. All of a sudden, Flaherty's got the stuff going again. A lot of his strikeouts came early, and now two here in the seventh.
Dominic Fletcher. One for two. Timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the back. Uh-oh. Line drive, but it's right to Andy Abanez. It's going to be seven shutout innings for Jack Flaherty in his Tigers debut. So now we have our bullpen set up pretty much exactly how we wanted it to be today. That's going to mean uh, Chafin and Shelby Miller are ready to go for game one of the Mets series. So we are going to warm up. Actually, I mean, they're both righties. Lang is a little bit better. I know Foley has been acting as the Tigers' closer here early. I may use Lang as the closer in the early stages, so let's warm up Jason Foley. <clears throat> well, we have a lefty here to face Tork. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, Bella finds a corner. Strike That's a choice. 88 power versus lefties. Fastball, a slider, a change up, a slur, and it works in a single. Change up inside there. Quick go to the play hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Ooh, a little bit low, but felt like we needed needed to protect. And now the lefty on the ground from Torque. Paul DeYoung has fielded about 30 balls in three games, I swear. And next to hit for Detroit, Riley Green. One for three. Riley Green can stay in the game. Kerry Carpenter may come out. Green launches one foul. Although I'm not really sure who would enter the game for Carpenter. We'll we'll play around. Back up the middle, and Riley Green's got a single. Uh, no, I must not have seen that. No. Well, here is Kerry Carpenter. We'll see what he did earlier in the day. Second home run of the Tigers season. And now let's play around with substitutions. We've got Meadows. I mean, Zach McKinstry. We honestly probably have a better shot with McKinstry. Oh, wait, no. McKinstry's a lefty. That doesn't work. We could pinch hit Urshela, but then he can't play outfield. So, I mean, Urshela is one for one on the year with an RBI. Let's go Gio Urshela. Big opportunity to expand our lead here. One on, one away. That's in there. Tough change up, low and in. Needs some heat. And we ain't getting it. This guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull On the ground and Urshela. Going to ground into a double play. Well, the first pinch hit opportunity for Gio Urshela went really well. This one, not so much. Now we got to make sure that we take him out of the game. He is not playing outfield here today. Not certain Kerry Carpenter was going to do any better. So into the game in left. Let's throw McKinstry out there. So Zach McKinstry to play defense. Shouldn't have a plate appearance the rest of the way. 
Jason Foley comes on one game on the year. Didn't allow a run in one inning of work. What's going on here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's first baseman Bryce Harper there for you. All right, 100 miles an hour on the sinker from Foley. And that's in the air. Riley Green heading back. De Young gave it a ride. Opposite field again. Here's Nicky Lopez. Change up will miss from Foley. 23,000, and that apparently catches the corner. Change up on the ground. Fair ball. Torkelson tags the bag two away. So now number nine hitter, Martin Maldonado. Had a hit back in the third. Sinker in for strike one. It's old one. The White Sox trailing by three. Here the bottom half. Slider just missed. Just misses. Change up on the ground. Backhander by Andy Abanez. To the ninth we go. Tigers still clinging to a three nothing lead. See if we can extend it further. Or if Alex Lang is going to have the first save opportunity of the year, Matt Foster will come on to pitch for the White Sox. Well, you know, you see Bryce Harper, he just plays the game hard, you know. That's all he's trying to do. Mark Canna. Too bad we couldn't extend the inning and uh, let Canna face a lefty. Fastball in from Canna, or to Canna from Foster. Good slider there. Fastball inside, though. Away. Slider never threatened the zone. Two and two on Mark Canna. Does have a base hit in this game. Two hits on the season. Oh! That's a nasty one. <clears throat> one away for Colt Keith. Hitless today. And if we keep swinging like we're swinging with Colt Keith, he's going to be hitless for a while. Had a hit on opening day. Nothing since. Started every game. One down, base is empty. One on one. Do need to get our closer, Alex Lang, up. I'm going to forget that certainly time and time again when it comes to our, our uh, relief pitching. Fastball got in on us real fast. One and two on the Tigers rookie second baseman. And now it's one and two. Rings and misses. It's a strikeout. <clears throat> That's so fucking stupid. Good two strike pitch right there. And worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. That was my worst swing of the entire game. Rogers fouls one off. Foster just pitching around everybody, and we're just ready to get to the ninth. NASCAR at Richmond after this. Rogers can't barrel anything up. Fuck. Here's the O2. I don't think we went. We did not. Slider that's basically a curveball. I 
It's just he's just right on the edge of the zone. <clears throat> With everything he throws, it seems. Not giving us much of anything. Smack to right field. Off the glove of Nicky Lopez. Rogers is on. Two out single here in the ninth. It's going to extend this for Javi Baez. Looking to get a hit in the first three games of 2024. Rogers battled all day. Now it's the shortstop, Javier Baez. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. <laughs> well, that's the most Javi Baez thing you've ever seen in it. Except there's not two strikes, so. Foul ball there. Goes to the fastball late. Wouldn't be shocked to see the slider again. Two outs. Goes fastball away. Bias had a rip. Good timing, fouled it off. Bias had a bad strikeout today. I mean, it was only a matter of time. Hammered by Bias. I think this, no, this is going to stay in play. Deep fly ball out to end the inning from Bias, who does go 0 for 4, but no strikeouts today from Javi. Top of the order due up for the White Sox against Alex Lang. Benintendi, Moncada, and Robert against the Tigers' closer for the time being, Alex Lang. 26 saves and 32 opportunities, 67 games pitched for Alex Lang in 2023, who makes his first appearance here in game three. Fastball in there. 96 on the fastball from Lang, and oh boy, this changeup command. Benintendi fouls it off. Very rough series. Curveball on the ground. Baez on the backhand. Good, strong throw. Got him. One away. Now it is Moncada. One for three. Fastball. That's ripped. Riley Green with a chance at it. Got it. There are two out. Uh, last chance for the White Sox in this opening series is Luis Robert. Fastball called a strike. Sinker on the ground. Andy Abanez is the one with a chance at it. And the Tigers win 3 0. Win the series to start 2024. Seven shutout innings for Jack Flaherty. Foley and Lang come on and shut the door. T record improves to 2 and 1 as we head to City Field for a three game set with the New York Mets. In a very favorable schedule early in the year for our Tigers.